Today, the long-awaited report from Sue Gray into parties in Downing Street during the COVID pandemic was published. While not all the whole report, there is an ongoing police investigation to have was pretty much a summary of the main finding without any of the gory details. So in that respect, it was a bit of a letdown. But there was still enough meat to raise questions about the Prime Minister Boris Johnson's management of his own department and suitability to be head of government. Sue Gray, who is the second most high-ranking civil servant in the Cabinet Office, listed 16 different parties in 12 months. That's 16 parties in Downing Street at a time when we pretty much couldn't, the country as a whole, just couldn't meet up with with even friends and family or at certain times maybe could meet up with a maximum of six people or or if it was a wedding or a funeral maybe 15 of ready people at most and of those 16 events 12 of them are now being investigated by the metropolitan police based on information provided by the sue gray's team at the cabinet office that is 12 events in which the police feel there isn't sufficient evidence of wrongdoing to investigate further one of the events was on 10, 19th of June 2020, the Prime Minister's birthday party in the flat above 10 Downing Street where the Prime Minister and his wife family live. So we know for sure that the PM is under investigation for a possible criminal offence. If the Metropolitan Police do find that there was a breach of coronavirus regulations, those involved, including the PM, could face fines of up to £10,000 and given that this was happening in Downing Street, given that they were the people who are setting the rules um, that we, everyone else had to follow, I'd be surprised if, if, if fines weren't issued for, for, for £10,000. Now, of course, there is such a thing as innocent under proven guilty, but based on this summary report, I'd be surprised if no one was fined. I mean, Sue Gray makes the following observations in her report. At least some of the gatherings in question represent a serious failure not to observe not just the high standard, high standards expected of those working at the heart of government, but also of the standards expected of the entire British population at the time. She also, she also comments that not enough thought was given as to whether the gatherings were appropriate given what was going on in the country, especially with regards to risks to public health and appearance to the public. She also, no, she also said that certainly some of, the, some, some of the events should not, should definitely not have been allowed. And some of them, whilst they may have been justified initially, they developed to something which could not have been justified. Furthermore, the report actually contradicts the, the Prime Minister's own words when he previously told the media and Parliament but everything that happened was within the rules. Do I think the PM should resign? Well, the fact that such parties took place at all during a period of lockdown or heavy restrictions on social interactions placed a question on the PM's own judgment. The fact that he then lied to cover it up caused into question his own integrity. So yeah, in a, in a word, yes, I do think he should resign. So what do you think? Do you think the Prime Minister should resign? Or do you think it's all a storm in a teacup? L whatever you think, leave a comment below. Um, and if you want to see Sue Gray's report, I put a link in the description below.